Hi there, Boyan Ivanov is my name from EWM. I would like to show you how the new Expert 2.0 control panel works. In the first step, we will switch on the welding machine and select the appropriate language that we need to set up the welding machine. We do that by pressing the button with the flag after switching on the welding machine and we see a choice of languages we can use for the work with the panel. We have a very, very wide range of languages available in the control panel. So even if you have uh, welders from different countries, um, you can choose the appropriate language. Now we choose English for our further instructions. The machine boots and after the machine is started, we are ready to set up the rest of the parameters. On the display, we see straight away all necessary parameters for the welding process. We see the wire feed speed, we see the welding current, we see the voltage, we see optionally also the plate thickness. The navigation through the display is very easy. The only thing we have to do is just press the knob once and then we can jump from parameter to parameter and make the appropriate settings. Before setting up the welding parameters, it is important to measure the resistance in the cables we, were, we are using for the welding. For that, we have to prepare the torch. We remove the gas shielding nozzle. We cut the tip of the welding wire and we retract the wire inside the contact tip. To retract the wire, we can use the function of the Expert 2.0 control, which we find under the point setting mode where we have the possibilities to retract the wire or to inch the wire. We retract the wire inside the contact tip and leave this menu. Then we move to the resistant measurement process, which we find under the system settings and the point cable resistance alignment. Once we enter the mode, we press the contact tip on the surface of our welding table or workpiece and press the trigger of the welding torch. After the, measure, the, the measurement is done, we see the actual value for the resistance of, our, uh, of the used welding cables and confirm this alignment cycle. Let's take a look at the welding parameters. We see everything we need for the welding on the display and we navigate between the welding parameters by using the click wheel and jumping between the different parameters we would like to adjust. The first step is to define the welding job that we would like to do. We do that by selecting, by selecting the job on the display where we have the possibility to select the material, the process, the diameter of the wire we would like to use, and also the shielding gas that we're using for the welding. In the first step, we choose the welding process. In the second step, we choose the filler material we would like to use for the welding. Then the, the diameter of the filler material. and the shielding gas we want to use for that application. After doing that, we are ready to set up the welding parameters. In the first step, we can adjust the welding power by increasing the wire feed speed and accordingly the voltage and the welding current. We can adjust also with the second knob the voltage correction, by increasing and decreasing the value, we make the welding arc shorter or longer. Alternatively, we press the button here and we can, we can adjust the dynamics of the welding process, which changes the properties of the welding arc. Switching from pulse to standard is also available here directly from this button. Or if we choose, we can select with the dial disposition and also activate or deactivate the function. The Expert 2.0 control panel offers the possibility to use different trigger modes. 
By pressing the A button, we can switch between 2T, 4T, 2TS, S stands for special, and 4TS. Also available, a tagging function, which allows us to select a defined time for the tag, which gives us the same uh, tag over and over again. To access the parameters for the 2TS and 4TS uh, trigger mode, we just have to press the A button a little bit longer, which leads us to the actual setting of those parameters. From here again, with our click wheel, we can select the different positions we would like to, to adjust. And by clicking on that position, we can select the actual parameters which are available in this part of the welding cycle. Here we see the, the setup of the so-called start, uh, start current or starting power, which allows us to have a more secure ignition and start in the welding process, avoiding possible lack of fusion. Jumping to the other parameters, we can also adjust the voltage correction for that part of the welding cycle uh, or, or also the duration of this cycle. Moving to the next position, we see the available parameters here. It is time or power, and we, we can select again here the parameter and adjust it with a click wheel. We use the arc button to always return to the main screen and see the actual welding parameters before starting to weld. If we use repeatedly welding parameters, it is a good idea to save them in the available 1 to 15 programs in each welding job. For that, we just have to select in the first place the desired welding program, 1 to 15 as mentioned, and then set up the welding parameters we would like to use on this spot. We select the welding power, we can select the latched, uh, the latched or non-latched mode, 2T40 or 2TS 4TS, which we would like to use there. We can decide if you want to use the standard or pulsed mode for the welding and then start welding. Once we are ready with this function or with this program, we just switched, switch to the next program where we can select the next parameters. Always the last parameters used for that program stay saved in the welding machine so we don't have to confirm in any way the welding parameters we would like to use. We just return to the previous program and the last used parameters can be found there and can be used for the welding. In the menu of the welding machine, we have the possibility also in the so-called job manager to copy jobs from one position to another, to reset the current job, or even to reset old jobs if we have problems with the welding and cannot see which parameters are actually the ones causing problems. In the, pro in the program sequence, we reach exactly the same parameters we saw previously hidden as a shortcut here be, uh, behind the A button. Again here, in the, in the settings menu, we can select also the kind of, of standards we use for the display of the different materials. We can also adjust here the absolute value of the, uh, of, of the setting for the welding power or even the, the, the units used for diameter or also for welding or wire feed speed or welding speed. Under system settings, we can find, find the parameters for the standby function, where we can set up, the, for instance, the time, uh, how long the machine waits until it comes into the standby mode, and also other parameters available for this standby function. Under system settings, we find also the possibility to change different special parameters of the wire feeder, which allows us to reduce the number of the available programs, which allows us, for instance, also to deactivate program number zero and all other, other functions which are described in detail in the manual of the welding machine. Returning to the system menu, we have also the possibility to change the design of our operating, of our, our, of our panel by choosing different de designs for the display of the welding parameters. We can choose here between the three different designs. After confirming the design, we can see straight away the new design on the surface of our display. Other extended settings can be found 
in the area of the program sequence. Again, we press the menu button, choose program sequence, and press the button B to see the extended settings available for the welding machine or for the welding process. Here we have the opportunity to activate or deactivate the process switching for the super, for the super pulse function, or we have also the possibility to choose the type of ignition we would like to use for the welding. Here we can select the standard ignition, the lift duct ignition for push pull torches, or the lift duct ignition for manual torches. Additionally, we have the possibility here to set up the parameters for the correction mode, which limits the welder in the range of the adjustment of what of the power meters, voltage correction, or wire feed speed. Now we are ready to see the possibilities of the Expert 2.0 panel in the workshop next door. Okay, just before we start welding, be sure to have the appropriate PPE, welding gloves, welding helmet with the correct shade lens, fume extraction is inside an enclosed area, and appropriate clothing, long sleeve shirt, long pants and enclosed shoes. Today we are using Argoshield Universal as a shielding gas. We will be using BOC bronze coated 1.2mm mild steel MIG wire. We'll be laying down a 6mm fillet weld on 6mm mild steel plate using pulse mode to reduce spatter. Here you can see we left a nice clean fillet weld. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it informative. Working with gas is as easy as BOC. Come and see us in store or check us out online.